Good afternoon, I'm Jess De Los Santos. This is One News Now. Davao City is planning to put up an additional holding facility for incoming passengers while they await the results of their RT-PCR test. Now, Gemma Vincenya is on the line to give us more of the details. Gem, where exactly is the local government planning to put this holding facility? Just the Davao City LG2 is planning to convert an old airport in Barangay Sa Sa into a COVID-19 holding facility. The airport had been abandoned after a bombing incident back in 2003, but now officials are looking to use it for incoming air passengers, waiting for the result of their swap test. Department of Public Works and Highways Region 11 spokesperson Dean Ortiz said that the facility can accommodate up to 100 passengers. Aside from the old airport, the DPWD is also constructed 20 mega tents along CP Garcia Highway, which can house up to 10 passengers per tent. The holding facilities are built in response to the increasing number of incoming passengers in the airport. Last month, Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte ordered CAAPSA to allow passengers to leave the airport without negative swab test results. Because of this, they were required to stay in a holding facility while waiting for their test results. Meanwhile, the Davao City LG got to release an executive order lifting the implementation of curfew and the use of food and medicine passes. Mayor Duterte said they are just still finalizing some guidelines for the CEO. Mayor Duterte mentioned in a radio program yesterday that should Davao City revert back to GCC or ECQ, they will look for ways to provide relief to affected residents. She also encouraged the Bawenians to cooperate and comply with health protocols to curb the spread of the virus. Duterte admitted that she is exhausted of the current situation but said it is not the right time to talk about the word capoy or being tired. Jess? All right, thank you for those updates. That was News 5's Gemma Vansenia reporting to us from Davao City. Now, here are other stories we are keeping our eyes on. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana says the Philippines will no longer participate in joint maritime drills in the South China Sea with other countries. He says this directive by President Duterte is meant to reduce tension in the disputed waters. The Interior Department has weighed in on the controversial shoot-to-kill post of a Quezon City Task Force official, Rani Ludovica, calling it improper and illegal. The department says it had already advised Ludovica to refrain from issuing similar statements in the future. And Field Health Chief Ricardo Morales says procurement of additional IT systems could help stem corruption in the agency. Morales told lawmakers in today's Senate hearing that the agency may have lost as much as 10 billion pesos last year due to corruption. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Jess De Los Santos. We are One News.